that today we bring into further spotlight one of the most significant public sector expenditure in the country, the construction of the second coast pair. Never before in the history of public sector management has anyone done what we are now doing. At each significant milestone of this project, we have come to the public, come to the media, and to update the country as to what is happening. It is in keeping with the full transparency that had been accorded in the selection and the choice of the parties to participate in the program. And so I'm happy as a leader of the Team Unity Administration to come to reaffirm our deep commitment to the good governance agenda that has been expressed day after day in the work. The second item I wish or observation I wish to make is to congratulate the Minister for the progress we are seeing here. And though we don't wish that the second coup spare happen overnight, in reality it can't. And so we are happy though that we are kept up to speed with respect to the progress. I want to commend the captain who happened to be a local. And indeed for this project we would wish full support be given to the local economy. I was therefore, I therefore took note of the fact of the involvement of TDC and other players in terms of the supply of aggregates to this particular construction endeavor. This is an important investment in the tourism sector, but beyond tourism, it is an important investment in the economy. Because what we are investing in, it is the productive assets of our country. And we hope in due time to have rewards to experience growth in the cruise sector, to experience growth in the commercial and industrial sector as a result of the additional business and growth that would be facilitated from this significant expenditure undertaken. So again, congratulations to Casper, and by extension, the Ministry of Public Infrastructure. Congratulations to all those who are participating, and we hope that they will deliver excellence at this particular facility. The country should feel proud at this time that it has an administration such as the Team Unity Administration that has been delivering. Importantly, this second coup spare had been promised many years before the formation of Team Unity. Indeed, if one were to go to the pages of the Labour Party manifesto for 2004, there was an explicit commitment there that by 2005, the second coup spare would have happened. 2005 has come and gone and perhaps will never come back again. It took a team unity administration to deliver on things that were considered impossible in the socio-economic life of the country. And we are happy to indicate we are not just an ordinary performing government, we are a government that does exceptional things. To God be the glory and may God bless the wonderful people of St. Kitts and Nevis. Stay up to date with news, programs and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.